In this video, I want to walk you through a project and the creation process, the idea behind it. Every architectural project starts with an idea. Sometimes ideas can come from a conversation with clients, colleagues, friends, inspiration, sketches, or from an architectural competition brief. In this case, the idea stemmed from my daily commute. Prior to having to work from home for the past year, I have been cycling for over five years to the office in central London. I passed every day through Regent's Canal past an area called Little Venice. And I always imagined how wonderful it would be to have some sort of observation tower in the island in the middle of the water. Paddington Basin, just next door to Little Venice, is a unique place within London, as the architectural fabric is organized around the canal instead of around a major street. There are many other developments adjacent to the canal that prioritize the water, yet most are in East London. Paddington Basin is a fairly new neighborhood as it continues to be transformed from an industrial to residential and office neighborhood. It's a vibrant place, quiet without traffic, except for the overhead motorway next door, and has a unique urban vibe where on nice days the restaurants and pubs are packed outside, well outside their boundaries, and for the most part in London the boundaries do get respected. Little Venice is a little different. It's in the heart of Maida Vale, and although a five minute walk from Paddington Basin, it has a strong and historic Georgian character. The path adjacent to the canal, where a cycle is well used to connect Maida Vale to Paddington train station by commuters, tourists, and cyclists like myself. So, could the two neighborhoods feel a little more connected? That's where the idea for this tower comes from. Imagine being in the middle of the water, surrounded by Georgian terrace houses and post-war social blocks, and at the same time, being able to look past the neighborhood into a different world just next door. And what if the tower represents new aesthetics and construction methods representing the nice things to come from modern construction? The positioning of the tower in the middle of the water is not threatening to the beautiful historic urban fabric and instead serves as a beam highlighting the spaces around the tower and the strong edges around the sides of Little Venice. To complement the tower, a new bridge and a smoke affair constructed to connect the tower to the mainland on an edge that's the least traveled out of the three sides of Little Venice. It is also important to introduce a place where people can sit and enjoy a cup of tea or coffee. The stark contrast between the tower, the open expanse of water in which the tower sits and the adjacent Maida Vale streets would make this area an even more popular destination for out-of-towners and for movie sets. The tower is composed of natural and synthetic resin cast fibers that portray both arts and crafts that relate to the area's historical character and new and innovative construction means that combine computer fabrication with computer-aided assembly instructions. The fibers are woven and bent into shape and there's ample opportunity to introduce planters that hang down from different parts of the tower. The architecture has the potential to become a habitat for the area's bird and flourishing bat population. If you ever wonder why along the canal in London there is not much lighting, the reason is because of the bats. A wooden stair sits in the middle of the tower that helps act as a balancing beam for the structure while it is at the same time supported by the rest of the structure. The stair is long, narrow and circular, allowing a few to travel to experience being inside of a vertical woven environment. At the upper end of the stair, users can observe London through thresholds generated by the tower. A new vantage point is born that also allows new perception of the unique character of Paddington Basin and the Georgian and Victorian surrounding neighborhoods through the modern camera obscura. 